Yeah, that's right, y'all. I haven't fired that pit up in a long time. Gonna burn her off with some good hot mesquite. I'm gonna throw two hams and a shoulder on there and just wing it. I'm gonna smoke them till they're done, eight, 10, 12 hours. Then I'm gonna cut them all up and turn them into a pulled pork. Gonna do it the long way this time. All right, just real fast, I am not going by any set recipe. I just throw in whatever I want to throw in. A lot of fresh ground pepper here. This is just to make me some sort of a rub for the outside of this. Chili powder. I want to be a bit hot. This is for two hams and a shoulder. And this is just the outside of it. Tony's Creole seasoning. It's going to be a wet, dry rub, kind of a mixture. Woo! That just hit my nose. Cayenne pepper. About two tablespoons. Free powder, whatever I can get out of the can. I'm just adding flavors. Garlic powder. About a teaspoon. Cinnamon. Why not? About a tablespoon or so, probably. I love this mesquite grill seasoning. Great stuff. It'll go good because we're using mesquite wood, too. Barbecue seasoning. We're just adding flavor, that's all. This is really good stuff. Ground Camino. So I'm going to use about half a palmful. Palmful. Yeah, we need something to help make it stick. I'm going to throw in a bunch of mustard. And the rest of this. I threw some water in here too. Just mustard is all. Strong, real strong, a little bit salty. That'll work, just make something up. It's gonna be a bit salty. I like salty pork, but this is just going on the outside for the start of it. Oh, I take that back. First salty, and then a lot of burn. Oh, I forgot, yeah, a lot, a lot of burn. Whew, hog zone, hot sauce. Just for the heck of it. Just the last of what I had in the jar here. Good stuff. There isn't a whole lot you have to do to these hams if you've done a decent job processing. I've got a few hairs to pick off of this, and I'm also probably going to try to cut most of this membrane off. Just skin it off of there. Why I do this, sometimes it has a little bit of flavor in it. Sometimes it doesn't. But I want meat. I don't want a bunch of membrane and everything like that. And we'll cut this all up later. A lot of this is going to cook off. That's pretty good. I'm just going to rinse it down. And then I'll put all my rub on it. Alright, now out to the grill. I'm going to do this with all of them, the other ham and shoulder, and we're just going to smoke them for about 10 to 12 hours. Another really good reason to take that sinew off the surface and just that membrane and stuff, the attaching skin, is for the thorns. Sometimes you get those little cactus thorns and stuff, that'll remove a lot of them for you. I'll let this cook away for a while, come back and check on it later. Through the uh, ribs on there too, and... This is going to be such smoked flavor, it's probably going to numb your mouth. But she's going, guys. She's Eight hours smoking on the grill between 170 and 250 degrees. Looks so good. Of course, this is cold the next morning. You just want to tear into it and eat it. But look, don't. It's still pink in the middle. Okay? This is not done. Don't make the mistake of taking cuts off the outside of your pork as it's cooking and eating it, I guarantee you, you'll get sick. Whether it's wild pork or store-bought pork. Smoked for a long time and this is not done. I'm going to get this chopped up and I'll get back to you. There's a lot of that meat that's still raw. Even though it's brown, it looks smoked. It's not done. You can see. Alright? So just make sure that you check your meat with a meat thermometer before you go eating it. This will probably take at least 12 hours at 200 to 250 and my grill was popping up and down. So I'm going to get this chopped up and then we're going to put it in the oven and finish it off. 
Alright, it's all chopped up. It's a good amount of meat here. Now, there's still a lot of moisture in this meat. We've got the smoke flavor, all the spices that were on the rub, so we don't need to add a lot. Just for fun, though, I'm just going to add some spicy mustard. Why not? If you like it, go ahead and throw it in. You never know. It could be good. You all know me. I love Worcestershire. So I'm going to use some Worcestershire just to get the rest of this mustard out of here. Looks like that'll do it. Worcestershire. Whole bottle. Gone. I love the mesquite seasoning, so I'm going to throw a lot more of that in there. Just to help give it a bit more of a kick. And then just to help it some, a little bit of oil. Several tablespoons. Won't hurt it. None at all. Alright, I'm going to mix this up. And then I'm going to cover it. And put it in the oven at 225 for about another 5 hours. The tin foil I'm using isn't quite wide enough to cover, so I'm going to take two sheets and just fold it in half like this. Fold it over. Do it twice. It'll allow you enough to get right down over this. Now I'm going to crimp this up, but I'm bending it down to the inside too. I don't want to lose a drop of moisture. Not one drop. I don't want any steam to escape. Of course it will, but I'm going to fold it down like that just to keep all the moisture down in the pan. This way it comes up on on the steam, it just drips in. Alright, four to five hours in that oven, guys. Minimum. I might cook it till 11 o'clock tonight, who knows. The longer the better. Alright, so it's six o'clock in the morning, I've just gotten up. I let this stuff run until about 10, 10.30 last night. And then I simply turned the oven off and just left it in there. It's still actually warm. Of course, not mushed all up. Oh, very tender. Just coming apart. Oh. That did it right there. Just leaving it in there to sit on that heat all night. Wow. Very tender. Strong, smoky smell but mild smoky flavor just right. I don't taste a whole lot of spices either. A little bit dry, but that's probably just been sitting there all night like that. Anyway, I'm gonna bag this on up and uh, go with the freezer. It's done. Thanks for watching, y'all.